Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we have discussed another very important lecture in uh, coordination chemistry. Now in previous lectures we have discussed about uh, acid hydrolysis reaction, their factors, evidences. Okay. Now in this lecture we have discussed uh, like a uh, stereochemistry of acid hydrolysis. Stereochemistry of uh, acid hydrolysis okay now acid hydrolysis first of all so one of the one of the leaving group is eliminated then the equivalent attack over there okay so in the, in the meanwhile so whenever leaving group is eliminated it creates two types of uh, like uh, two types of intermediates the coordination number five so one is a trigonal bipyramidal intermediate another one is a, like a square pyramidal intermediate now what will happen in case of a square pyramidal intermediate either retention of the configuration or like a inversion of the configuration now whenever we supplied the like uh, we uh, send the water molecule through the those two in those two intermediates uh, now we will get either uh, retention this stereochemistry or inversion this stereochemistry okay now let us discuss that very clearly okay now here it is the metal so here it is a living group like a uh, halogen so uh, this is the best uh, representation now here these are the four uh, four ligands now here uh, one of the ligand is inert ligand so in first step here the elimination of chloride ion elimination of chloride ion now here it creates the vacant site it creates the vacant site so this intermediate is this intermediate is a square pyramidal intermediate square pyramidal intermediate okay now in this square pyramidal intermediate whenever we send the aqua ligand to the vacant site now here the aqua ligand uh, attacked the uh, vacant site of the octahedral structure okay so that means whenever the leaving group position is replaced by the incoming one that is a retention that is a retention why because here the compound says uh, now here again it, it it retains the cis configuration that's why it is called retention of the configuration okay so now through the square pyramidal intermediate uh, we will get the retention of the configuration retention of the configuration okay in case of a uh, trans isomer so here it is the trans isomer here chlorine here it is the uh, now inert ligand okay this for are the either remaining ligands so in case of trans isomer now it gives the like a trigonal bipyramidal intermediate a trigonal bipyramidal intermediate now here it is a, a z group here it is vacant site okay so whenever here the three types of uh, attacks are possible so one is a uh, aqua ligand attack over the same position that means wherever the ligand is eliminated so now we will get the product like this so metal okay now here it is ZOH2 now in the second case maybe this same ligand attack over the above the plate okay now in case of trigonal bipyramidal so one is a left side attack another another one is a right side attack of the planar okay now here it gives the OH2 Z the remaining things are same remaining all are same now another possibility is also there the third the third aqua ligand attack over the like uh, this type of position that means uh, here very closer to the z ligand now here we will get the z oh2 so this is the complex okay so in this case z oh2 trans to each other now here it is a trans compound in this case here these two are cis planar these two are cis manner, cis manner okay so now these two are cis planar okay whenever uh, one form is a trans two forms are uh, says the contribution is 33.3 percent now here approximately 67 percent approximately very closely 66.6 percent .6%, okay now let us conclude here the cis isomer will use the cis, uh, cis product only that means a uh, retention of the configuration okay retention of the configuration but in case of trans isomer it gives the both cis as well as a trans both cis as well as a trans that means a resmic mixture it gives the res Resmic mixture in in specific resmic mixture this is the predominant product when compared to the trans okay but uh, uh, based on the z like it is a uh, uh, like a spectator ligand based on the adjacent inert ligand nature so these stereochemical stereochemical aspect will be changed but uh, everywhere every case even though yeah, whatever the ligand nature cis compound always gives the cis manner but in case of trans it will be changed okay let us go through the uh, what will happen in in case of a different different ligands are present over the place of a z ligand okay let us go through the another examples
Now let us go through the first uh, cis isomers. So here Z is equal to NH3. Now what will happen? So these two are the uh, NH3 Cl. Okay. So this is these two are like uh, ethylene diamine ligands. Ethylene diamine ligands. Now the complex is cobalt ethylene diamine two times NH3 Cl. Okay. This is the complex here plus two charge. Okay. So cis two complex. Again uh, another complex is a cis like a cobalt ethylene diamine two times OH like a Cl. Okay, I would like to take the two two ligands in, in, in place of Z, here Z is equal to NH3, here Z is equal to OH. So here Z, uh, ammonia is uh, only sigma donor ligand, we are classifying the ligands uh, over the charge transfer spectra. If you want the classification of ligand, uh, watch over there. Okay, now here OH is a sigma as well as pi donor ligands, sigma as well as a pi donor ligands. Now let us go through them, both the sigma donor as well as sigma and pi donor ligands, what will happen in case of uh, stereochemical aspect, okay. So among these two, which one is uh, more uh, more reactive towards the acid hydrolysis? Such type of questions are also came in this CSA. Okay, now here it gives the isomer. So NH3, here it is vacant site, here it is vacant site. Okay, now here almost all it is a uh, square pyrimidyl intermediate. Whenever we use the aqua ligand, so here water ligand is present. N, 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 N. Okay, so this is the complex. Cis will use the cis product. And okay. like another compound, this is also cis, like a cobalt, ethylene diamine. Okay, now here uh, like OH, Cl. Uh, nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen. This is the ethylene diamine ligand. Okay, so I would like to write the uh, molecular representation like this cobalt. Now, here it is a Cl, here it is OH, uh, like a nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen. So, this is the like a complex. Whenever the loss of uh, uh, leaving a group, now we will get the complex like this OH. So here nitrogen, 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 nitrogen. It is the vacant side. It is the vacant side. So now here oxygen having the like uh, the lone pair of electrons. That means uh, yeah, uh, like uh, fulfilled p orbitals. Fulfilled uh, p orbitals. Now here the vacant site which is stabilized by the uh, p orbital of oxygen atoms. P orbital of oxygen atom. Now here this stabilization will enhances the enhances the weight of Acid hydrolysis, right? Of uh, acid hydrolysis. Here both will use the like uh, similar type of products, but in case of uh, pi donor ligands, uh, which gives the more uh, reactivity towards the acid hydrolysis uh, when compared to the like a uh, uh, sigma donor ligands okay so, so uh, it may be possible to ask the question either csa or net or jump okay so both are cis compounds but uh, in presence of oh minus here it enhances the rate of hydrolysis due to the stabilization with the uh, empty orbital of uh, uh, our coordinate site with the oxygen atom lone pair uh, lone pair orbitals lone pair containing orbital okay now let us go through the trans uh, trans compound in the same manner we will go through the trans compounds so cis will use the hundred percent cis isomer, but trans will use the different isomers. Now let us check the uh, like a trans uh, trans compounds a uh, similar one like uh, ethylene diamine three times NH three Cl. So here it is possible same compound ethylene diamine two times OH Cl like here plus one. I think uh, in previous case uh, uh, maybe uh, whether check uh, here uh, uh, I would like to write the plus one or uh, minus one. So let us check, uh, uh, it is the plus one, not the plus two, okay. Here it is a trans compound, here it is a trans compound. Now we will go through the, both the reactions through the acid hydrolysis, both the reactions through the acid hydrolysis. So trans compound means one is above the plane, another one is a bottom, bottom one. So these two are the like diamine ligands, these two are the diamine ligands. So now here the first one, stigma donor ligands as a trans product, now here it is a trans isomer. So whenever the elimination of leaving group, uh, now here it becomes a vacant site, it becomes a vacant site okay so now here this is the vacant site so that vacant site cannot stabilize any other adjacent atoms why because there are no non-availability of their pi bonded electrons or p orbital electrons okay so due to that uh, our aqueous ligand directly approaches the vacant site now it will use the like a same stereochemistry same stereochemistry Okay, now here it gives the like a similar studio chemistry. Now we, we will take the trans isomer, we will get the trans isomer. That means here the retention of the configuration, retention of the their studio chemistry. Let us go through the second example. Now here cobalt, here OH, like a Cl, nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen. 
Okay, so this is the compound. Now uh, I'll go through the Cl over here, OH over here. So now we will get the compound, the loss of Cl minus, we will get the compound like this. Nitrogen, 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 or OH. That means uh, here it is the like a uh, square pyramidal intermediate. So here it is vacant orbital. So square pyramidal intermediate means uh, this is the square bottom bottom of the plane having the OH ligand. Okay. So OH ligand which is coordinated with the central metal atom. Okay. So there is no possibility to uh, to make the stabilization with a uh, above vacant orbital. Now here above uh, above the plane having the vacant orbital, bottom plane having the ligand. So this is a uh, unstabilization. That means uh, not much of stabilization. Whenever these compound will becomes uh, like a trigonal bipyramidal moiety cobalt here OH okay now here like a uh, th this type of compound so here it is a uh, compound this is the square pyramidal moiety sorry trigonal bipyramidal moiety so in case of a trigonal bipyramidal moiety is uh, like this we will get the compound like this okay now here it is the trigonal bipyramidal so here it having the OH ligand okay so one of the compound having the nitrogen atom which is connected to the right side of the molecule bottom one connected to the left side molecule now here it having the OH ligand okay so now another empty orbital having the like uh, above the plane of the molecule let us assume okay so this above the plane molecule which is uh, stabilized by the uh, P orbital of oxygen atom here it is the vacant orbital now here it is the like a complete filled orbital so this is the stabilization this is the stabilization this is stabilization will use the mixture of product now here aqua ligand may be attack over there or it may be attack over here or it may be attack over there okay now here these two first and the second uh, approaches will use the cis isomers we are not discussed in earlier case but uh, uh, like a uh, third uh, third attack uh, will use the trans isomer so two is a cis one uh, and now another one is a trans compound another one is trans compound now here approximately we will get the 75 percent of uh, cis 25 uh, percent of uh, uh, trans according to the experimental data 75 percent of cis 25 percent of trans okay so in generally trans becomes trans that is the possibility but in case of trigonal bipyramidal it gives the mixture of compounds okay this will happen in case of uh, like a pi donor ligands now let us go through the pi acceptor ligands Now let us discuss the pi acidic ligands. In presence of uh, pi acidic ligands, what will happen? The acid hydrolysis. Okay. So generally, here it is the pi acid ligand. Here it is the like a uh, leaving group. It is our uh, outgoing outgoing group, uh, incoming one. So here also uh, already incoming. There is no possibility for the incoming one. Here it is the pi acidic ligand. Okay. So the pi acidic ligands are electronic withdrawing groups. Electronic. Uh, withdrawing group so here the presence of electronic withdrawing group uh, the metal pi bond pi acidic ligands bond this length is decreased that means uh, the metal uh, metal pi acidic ligand bond strength is decreased so due to this effect uh, now mx bond mx bond very closer now the bonded mx bonded to electrons pulls towards the metal atom mx bonded to electrons pulls towards the metal atom so these these pulling of electrons uh, to making the dissociation of mx bond is difficult okay so whenever the metal the metal x bonded to electrons will pulls towards the metal atom that means here the uh, mx bond breaking is uh, difficult okay so that means uh, uh, pi acidic ligands in the presence of pi acidic ligands uh, the reactivity towards the acid hydrolysis is lesser than the previous two cases okay now but uh, sigma donor ligands are very lesser when compared to the pi acidic ligands okay now we will go through the like trans compounds metal here it is the ligand now here it is pi acidic ligand so pi acidic ligand means here it is the vacant orbital so metal means whenever metal having the pi acceptor ligands that means uh, here it having the fulfilled their d electrons uh, that means uh, more number of d electrons are present over there so here more number of t2g or ez electrons will stabilizes the uh, vacant orbital of a pi acidic ligand through the pi overlapping through the pi overlapping so in case of a trans compound more pi overlapping is observed more pi overlapping is absorbed but in case of cis compound here it is a metal here it is pi acidic ligands so not that much of a uh, overlapping is not absorbed that not that much of overlapping is absorbed okay now here pi overlapping is less amount pi overlapping is less amount 
So that's why we have the trans compound in presence of a pyacetic ligand. So trans is major than that of the cis content. Trans is the major than that of the cis content. Okay. Now I'll give the two examples uh, and their uh, K values. Now here that is that is a cobalt complex. Okay. Now here it is the cis compound. NO2 X. Here K value is 11 into 10 to the power minus 5. But uh, same compound here it is the like a trans manner. Here it is the trans matter. Now Ka value around 42 into 10 to the power minus 5. That means very higher, very higher. So instead of N, NO2, I used the NH3. So the same manner. That means here it is the sigma donor ligand. Ka value is very lesser, 0 0.03 into 10 to the power minus 3. That means very, very lesser than that of the like a pi, a pi acceptor ligands. Okay. This is the uh, simple reactivity of uh, different different ligands present in like uh, our complex towards the acid hydrolysis. Now I give the a small table regarding to the all the complexes. Either cis compound is cis product is measured or trans product is measured. Okay. Now. Uh, I'll give the very simple table regarding to the percentage of cis as well as the trans product of uh, acid hydrolysis reactions. Okay, now we we'll go through the cis compound cobalt ethylene diamine two times here the Z as well as Cl. Here Cl is the leaving group. Cl is the leaving group. So Z is the uh, like a different different type of groups. Okay, whenever if Z is equal to OH minus, okay, so Z is equal to OH minus, what will happen? NCS minus like a Cl minus like a NO2 minus. So among the four, so the percentage of cis product are how much? Like a percentage of trans product is how much? Okay, whenever we will take the cis compound, absolutely 100% it gives the trans isomer, whatever the ligand. So now here it is 100%, it is 100%, it is 100%, it is 100%. So all the all the ligands, whenever either pi donor ligands like a normal pi donor ligands, sigma and pi donor ligands, pi acceptor ligands, whatever the ligand, cis complexes always gives the cis product. That means it proceeds through the like a square pyramidal intermediate. Now again the same compound in the trans isomer, cobalt ethylene diamine two times like Z. Here it is the Cl plus. So here the Z and the Cl both are trans to each other. So the same compounds OH minus NCS minus Cl minus like a like NO2 minus. Okay. Now here the percentage of cis product, the percentage of cis product in presence of OH minus, that means pi donor ligands, the percentage of cis product is 75%, approximately 75%. So NCS minus product is 60 to 70%. NCS minus product is 60 to 70%. Cl minus product is 30 to 35%. But NO2 minus, there is no cis content. There is no cis content. Here it is, it will, it gives only trans product. So generally the percentage of trans formula is 100% minus cis content, cis percent, okay. So now here 75% cis means 25% is the trans, okay. Uh, 60 to 70% cis means the remaining percent, 30 to 40% of trans. Now here 30 to 35 means 62, like uh, uh, 65 to 70% is of trans. Now here 100% of trans, okay. So uh, very easier topic regarding to the acid hydrolysis, whenever OH minus will use the more cis content, NO2 minus will use the less cis content, not only NO2 to minus like NO2 minus CN minus like a CO such type of a pi acidic ligands will does not give the like a cis content uh, much more cis content. Uh, let us discuss the one of the CSIR problem regarding to the like same question which is uh, like a Srivar Satkin's uh, direct question Srivar Satkin's uh, direct question okay so now let us discuss the CSIR problem okay this is the CSIR question for two marker in which is given in the December 2016. Okay. So in the hydrolysis of trans cobalt ethylene diamine two times Cl A plus, it is the leaving group is chloride. Now in the in this complex, if the leaving group is chloride, okay. Now here it is the leaving group. The formation of cis product, okay. The formation of cis product is the least. So among the four, among the four ligands, they are given in the four ligands. So among the four, which is the least content of cis is there, okay. Now here, when A is the these four complexes, when we, will happen, cis content is least among the four, okay. Now we know that a, a table regarding to the cis and trans product here OH minus NCS minus CL minus NO2 minus OH is 75% N 75% now here it is 
60 to 70 percent here it is 30 to 35 percent now here it is a zero percent so among the four which is the least content so and what to minus is sorry then what to minus is the least content and what to minus is the least content so uh, our option is a okay so this is the very simple thing regarding to the acid hydrolysis stereochemistry okay if it is possible i'll make the like a uh, uh, another lecture on uh, either sn1cb conjugate based mechanism stereochemistry also okay thank you for watching